Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here at Plan with Elise and today we are flipping through the happy guide or the guided happy journals from the Happy Planner winter release. I have several videos up in this playlist of my unboxing, the stickers, the Be Happy box, the planners, and now the guided journals. So let's take a look at these. Guided journals are typically what come out in the winter release. So first up, we have the recovery layout. And these are four month journals. This has clear discs with silver sparkles in them. And let's grab my scissors. And then the first tab is mess before mastery. Okay, week of this week I am going to. So this is like the left side of the recovery planner. What is taking up space in my head? Have I been selfish, dishonest, or afraid? What can I do different? Do I need to fix something? Do I owe an apology to anyone? What have I done well? What victories can I celebrate? How can I help others or be of service? How will I nurture my recovery this week? And what am I looking forward to this week? And then you have daily journaling. So you're feeling a little thing that brought me joy. What did I do for my recovery today? Today's highlight, something I learned today, daily gratitude. What did I do to add to my happiness? What empowered me? What have I learned about myself during the recovery process? And daily gratitude. So they're going to change a little bit, right? You have thoughts and reflection. How am I doing right now? Don't hold back. Opportunities for growth. Lessons I learned. Dear future me. Dear present me. How have I seen progress in the past week? And then we're all a work in progress. So you could journal here. You could junk journal. Just draw whatever you want. And then a blank dot grid page. And then again, the similar setup with the different prompts. So these are going to be yellow. I'm assuming the next tab we will have blue. So this is a month's worth. And now we have don't be the same, be better. I feel like we're only in competition with ourselves, right? This is saying like, don't be better than other people. Be better than yourself. Don't be the same, be better. Yeah. Okay, so we are back in yellow. So if you like yellow, this is, this is the one for you. But I do really like the dots over here. I think that this is fun. Hey, you, keep going. Love that divider. And then the fourth divider, reset, realign, reclaim, reignite. So four month layout in this recovery journal. Next, we have a fitness journal. I feel like one day I'll remember to take off all the packaging before I start an unboxing. But they don't take that long, right? Like 10 seconds. Fitness layout. Remember why you started. I love this, like the terrazzo print. Okay, so the week of, two actions I can take to achieve my goal this week. What event or circumstance is coming up that might disrupt my routine? How can I prepare to stay on track? Habits to start this week, habit to stop this week. Who can I compliment and or encourage? And then we have habit trackers. And then the day of daily workout, hours slept, water intake, meal tracker, Date, how am I feeling today? What temptations and or challenges did I face today? What did I do to overcome them? Calories in, calories burned, and how did I do today? And then again, similar to the last one, we're going to have just different prompts. I'm proud of myself for how am I grateful for my body today? What habit can I focus on improving? What or who, who or what is currently motivating me? What foods and recipes has I been loving? Have I been loving? What was a highlight from today? So just different prompts throughout this, and then at the, you have a weekly recap. How do I feel about my overall progress from the week? My proudest moment. What circumstance set me back? How? What? Ugh, what can I improve on for next week? And notes, and then the next week begins. Positive energy, positive results. And this will be the same setup for month two. Stop wishing, start working stronger than yesterday. So this is the fitness layout. I think that one thing to note with these journals is that there's a ton of ways that you can customize this a little bit if it's not specifically for you, but you love it. Like if I were to use this, I'm not a big workout person, right? So I would cover up daily workout 
I could cover up calories in and calories burned. This can be any types of to-dos in terms of the meal tracker section, or it's neutral enough that you could even just cover it and use it as like cover the lines with a white pen. Um, and then I could always redo these prompts if I want to, but I don't even think that all of them are necessarily workout based. So there's definitely ways if you see one of these that you love, but you're not entirely sure if it applies to your life to do that. Okay, now we have, I'm just going to, this one will be quick because I've showed this so many times on my channel, but this is what we call the Hello Happy Journal, and it was a release from last winter, so I think it's just been restocked, and that's probably why it was sent as part of this, or if you are new to Happy Planner, then this is new for you, but this is really fun because it's kind of like a bullet journal style, so you can color these in. I've colored them in with colored pencils, with markers, highlighters. We had a similar release during Cyber Week with the self-care gift box, had a guided journal just like this, but different colors. So really fun journal. Positive thinking, positive outcome, purpose to have an attitude of gratitude, and think, reflect, discover, create, and grow. So the way that this one is set up is you have the monthly page, this month's goal, habits to read and watch, power words, this month's to-dos. Oh, this is new. Unless I just never saw it on the last one. This is cool. Favorite moments. Doodle your favorite moments of the month. I would probably put photos in here, but that's really neat. Um, this week's priorities. So this is a really fun journal and one that I definitely recommend because I love mine. All right, now we have budget. I just want to note that the discs on mine were broken. But if that happens when you order, you usually can reach out to Happy Planner to get replacement. Save now, spend later. This is the one I'm probably most excited about because it's budget. But I'm excited. Oh, no, there's also others. Okay, there's a lot in here that I'm looking forward to. All right, set your goals. Month one, two, three, and four, and action steps. So, for example, a financial goal could be... Um, earn an additional $200 and then action steps. So maybe list things to sell online, you know, um, pick up a consulting gig, things like that. And month two could be reduce subscription spending. So review your subscriptions, make sure that you're actually using what you're paying for and cancel subscriptions. And you can usually save a lot of money that way. All right. Now we have a little, little plug over here. Get away from me. Okay. <laughs> Bill schedule, create a reference sheet for your bill due dates. So bills and due dates, and then the month, and you could check them off as they are paid. And now we have a debt tracker. This is like similar to a budget planner. Are we sure this is a, it is a guided journal. Okay. So debt trackers, account, active interest rate, beginning balance, ending balance, and then the month of, and did you pay it off after a four month period? Now we have savings trackers, saving for amount needed, started ba starting balance, monthly savings goal. This is good. We haven't seen trackers like this all in one. I think we've seen them in companion packs, but that's why I'm like kind of quiet. I'm, I'm thinking and I'm, I'm evaluating. <laughs> and then we have the budget review. Check back each month to review your numbers. Is there anything you could have done differently to achieve a better outcome? And then we have the first plan to save. For the month of what event or circumstance is coming up this month that you know you will need to spend money on? What can you do to adjust and save? Things you want, things you actually need. What can you give up, say no to, or let go this month? And then you have your budget, monthly budget, and then a no spend tracker. Pick two items to avoid spending on during the month. Check it off along the way to keep you motivated. How did this challenge go this month? Is there anything you can do to improve your outcome? Then you have weekly expenses. Where do you see tempta where did you see temptation today? How did you overcome it? Daily gratitude and small victories. And then what is inspiring and motivating you to financially plan? When you think about financial freedom, what comes to mind this week? This is good. This is, this is 
a really good new product. If you are interested in budgeting and maybe a budget planner scares you or overwhelms you, this, I think this is great where you have the weekly expenses and then the journaling. And again, the prompts are going to change each time, but I think that this is a really good starter budget for someone who is new to it. Let's see if there's a monthly review type section. There's not, but there's some more doc grid pages. Once you need less, you will have more. And then again, we start with, for the month of, your budget breakdown, no spend tracker, weekly expenses, and then the daily prompts. The third divider is pay your future self first, agreed, and a budget is about giving every dollar a purpose. Yes, I always say that if you tell your money where to go, you'll never wonder where it went. So I'm, I'm intrigued by this. This might be my top pick, the budget one, definitely. Well, so far, <laughs> there's more, but wait, there's more. Next up, we have goals. So this one also excites me because I'm lately just very focused on my goal planning. So this is the goals layout, goal getter. And I want to note something as I'm saying that I'm focused on goal planning. What I'm so excited about, because if you see the Be Happy Box video, that's also goal focused. And maybe you saw my video yesterday where I shared my goal setup for 2023. What I love about a disbound system is the ability to mix and match and play around and pull what I need and get rid of what I don't. And I think that that's what's really fun about having different systems to work with. So we have month of, this month's focus, this month's big goals, actions, and reward. And then the month of, we have a habit tracker with three different habits, notes, this week's goals, write a positive quote to follow this week, important due dates this week, three things that can help you achieve your goals, and three things that inspire you. And then the daily. Now, I think that with daily goal planning, it can be a lot, right? Like, Every day is different. I like having a monthly goal overview, but I think that sometimes it can be challenging to set goals for each day. However, the way this is laid out is simple. What is the main goal for today? For today, for example, my main goal is to get these videos filmed. Today's tasks, I would like to pick up a prescription, go to the bank, and get these videos uploaded. An encouraging message to myself is, you can do it. Today's going to be a good day. One thing you are grateful for, to have gotten a box of beautiful planner items to share. And two lessons you learned today, you'll have to check in with me tonight. <laughs> so again, different prompts throughout. Um, but I do like the color scheme. I think that it's light and nice. And then let's just look at the back. Because sometimes there's a monthly review. So we have the monthly goal check-in. And... I like that you can mark your progress from zero to 100%. So like last month, one of my goals was to clean out my closets. I did that 0%. Um, I wanted to update my Etsy shop. I did that about like 40%. So it's nice to be able to visually have that representation. Difficult doesn't mean impossible. Dwell in possibility. Every morning you have two choices. Continue to sleep with your dreams or wake up and chase them. I like that one too. So I like this goal planner. The budget is still my favorite, but I like, I like the goal one. I'm impressed by it. Not planner, sorry, guided journal. And then finally we have the faith. So it says faith over fear. These all have kind of the same like design of the, the journals this year. Pray without ceasing. Okay, so you have prayers. I'm not, um, I think most faith-based planners are for specific faith. I'm Jewish, so I'm. there may be things in this that I don't quite understand in terms of how to explain it to you, but I would definitely check out other channels. Um, so we have prayers for seven days of the week. And then the date, so scripture reading for today, I do know that. How does the word speak to me? Who can I encourage today? Today, I am rejoicing in this truth, praising him for the simple gift, and I am so grateful for. 
I am seeing God's hand in. Today I am finding hope in. So just a bunch of different prompts as we're seeing with all of these, but this is a little bit more neutral for you to really write down and kind of play around in. Then we have sermon notes. So the speaker, topic, and date, key point and observations, key verses, question I have, summary, and application. So you, I guess, would do this on Sunday when, after seeing a sermon. And then you have the new week, so prayers for each day. And then the same kind of prompts. And then let's go to the end. And again, sermon notes. So there's no monthly review, but at the end of each week, you have sermon notes. God is a promise keeper. Let's just look at the color scheme. It's not, I mean, it's really neutral, so it's not really changing throughout. More Jesus, more joy. And praying, believing, trusting. I think that this looks good. Again, it's not something that I would use because of my faith, but I would think that maybe it would be a good journal for someone who is spending more time faith planning. So this is the faith layout. Um, okay, so that is it. Those are the guided journals. Let's take another look. We have Hello Happy, Faith, Goals, Budget, which is my top pick, definitely. Recovery and Fitness. These release on Monday, December 5th. I believe it's 9 a.m. Pacific, but I will have the updated info in the description along with my affiliate link if you are shopping and it will bring me a commission without charging you anything extra. Let me know your favorites. Make sure to check out all of the other videos of the stickers, the planners, the Be Happy Box, and my front-facing unboxing. And that is a wrap. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you next time.